Hello everyone and welcome to day six of the seven days of gratitude art journal challenge. Today's prompt is details and so I wanted to stamp a page that would allow me to list out a bunch of details that I'm thankful for. And so I grabbed this stamp set that has a bunch of label stamps and I'm just going to cover this white page with these label stamps. And I'm kind of stamping them off the page, um, a couple of each type of label and cleaning them off as I go. And so I start with the biggest label and work smaller. And I'm just kind of choosing a variety of sizes and shapes. This one is very similar to the one I just stamped, but it has a slightly different corner on it. And I'm just using black ink to tie the whole page together and to keep it from getting too busy. Um, of course, it's busy with all the different labels, but the black color kind of makes it a little bit more minimal. And so I'm using the circle stamp, and now I'm grabbing this dotted label stamp just to add a little bit more texture and a different type of line. And so I'm going to start layering these on top of each other and once again just moving that paper around so that I can stamp off the page on both sides. And now I'm just adding this little square diagonal stripe stamp to fill in some of the empty spaces. And I'm just layering it on top of the other stamps and on top of itself. And that is going to be it for this stamped page. I like how this adds plenty of room for journaling without being too busy. And I'm just kind of deciding if I want to add a couple more stamps for decoration or if I just want to leave it as is. And I decide to leave it and work on the right hand page for a little while. And I actually grabbed this zebra journaling card that I pulled out at the beginning of the challenge and wasn't quite sure how I was going to use it. But I liked how the yellow popped against the blue and I also thought the zebra was a fun way to kind of hint at the prompt of details. Um, I was kind of thinking about how a zebra's stripes are one of the details that make them unique. And so I'm just gluing this journaling card down. Um, I don't want it to be a flip up and so I'm just gluing it straight to the page. And then I'm going to glue the details title over the top. And this letter details word is from the printable that I made for this challenge, which you can find on my blog. And so I'm just gluing that down, kind of fitting it between the legs of the zebra. And I kind of just switch back and forth between which page I'm thinking about and what I want to add throughout the process. And so I grab this polka dot washi and tape it to the top just to add a little bit of embellishment. And now I'm going to write in the details that I am grateful for. And so I just start listing them out in the boxes made by the labels. And I'm using an all caps writing just to keep things cohesive. And I'm writing in all the big spaces um, and kind of limiting myself to that. And so that is going to be the journaling for this page. And of course I could have added a whole bunch more details that I am grateful for, but I think the labels kind of helped me really focus in on specific details and not get carried away. And so now I am just adding a date stamp like I have in every other page and I'm just going to add it in that small space created by that label that wasn't quite big enough for me to write in. And so now I'm feeling like this page is pretty much done and I actually go through and show you some close-ups so you can see all the details. And I actually decide that I want a little something more on that right hand page. It's feeling not quite finished and I kind of play around with a couple different things. I grab some stickers to look at and kind of play around with where that could go. Um, 
I grab this stamp sticker and kind of just move it around the page, layer it under the word, and try to figure out if that's the element that's missing. And I decide that it's not. And I kept that in the video just so you could see how I am thinking about adding to this page and the process from beginning to end. And so to finish off the page, I end up grabbing just some more of the skinny washi and layering it behind the details. Um, and I actually layer it to go off the page. And I think this mirrors the left-hand page really well, and I think that's why I end up liking the way it looks. And I actually grab one more washi to layer over the left side of that card. And I didn't have another skinny washi that I wanted to use, so I just grab a regular width one and trim it down to a skinnier size. And I chose these black and white washi tapes to mimic the stripes on the zebra and the patterned page on the left. And so I'm layering this one off the card and into the fold of the page as well, once again just to mirror that left hand page. And so now I really am done with this layout. Um, it's simple, but still has plenty of visual interest. I hope you enjoyed seeing how this page came together. Thank you so much for joining me in this video, and I will see you tomorrow with the last video for the 7 Days of Gratitude Art Journal Challenge. Bye everyone!